Well, obviously, I was going to watch the first game of the um, latest Superstars competition, the KK Sauce. Uh, I'm down in the shack, and I thought, well, why not film it as well? So I'll be commentating on any hands that are obviously building up, and if it doesn't go to the river, perhaps people can say what they were doing, whether they were bluffing. Um, hopefully there won't be too much muffing going on, but if there is, then it's all going to be here and everybody can see it on the forum so too bad i won't do it on tuesday because i'm not going to be down here in my shack but um i'm going to do it now so best of luck everybody let's see how we get on so we've got an early raise to 80 from jaffa cake mazuma cause zoso cause thicko cause um, I'm hot in my knot calls and frogest calls and the floppers come ten of spades ace of diamonds three of diamonds two checks Mazuma bets out with a hundred gets called so you think Maz has got probably a, a big ace and three callers so you've got to put someone on a flush draw maybe someone on a gut shot a couple of big aces maybe Um, Jaffa Kate's thinking about it. He was the original razor from uh, Under the Gun Plus One. Yep. So they all call, and the turn is two of hearts. Mazuma to go. Darren bets out. Zoso makes a fold. Thicko calls. I'm hot, am I not? Which is Andy Beck from the forum. He calls as well. So, well, you've got to think the Mazuma has definitely got a big ace. Thicko, if he calls, has probably got a smaller ace. And I'm hot and my knot was chasing a flush. Hang on a second. Um, yep, yeah, Mazuma wins with ace king. So I don't know what the other two had. Maybe they can tell us on the forum. Cheers. So Thicko is raised from early position to 90. Uh, round to Zoso who calls for 90. And we get a flop of 6, Queen 6. Zoso checks. Thicko is thinking about it. Makes a bet. And Zoso chooses to raise. The board is 6, Queen 6. So you've got to think that Zoso does have a queen. But the king might be a scare card. But he bets tiny. 180 into 700 and something. Called again by Thicko. And, oh, okay. Zoso was raising on a board of 6, Queen, 6 with a pair of 10s. And Thicko was just calling him off with the Ace, Queen. He got the flush draw on the turn, so it was going nowhere. Zoso carried on. And Thicko takes the pot. And up to 4,800, starting stack 4,000. And an interesting hand developing here. Greenfinch's minimum raised to 60 from the cutoff. Mazuma's re raised to 210. Greenfinch's re raised to 420. And Maz is all in for. Th well, this has got to be two big hands. Greenfinch is actually thinking about it. The spread's a really good player. He could fold a really good hand here. Um. Mazuma's not going to risk it with, yeah, there you go, aces against kings. That's pretty cruel. And shit happens. And already at these early stages, we've got a big leader and somebody out. That's really cruel. Should you be folding a pair of kings there in a single table tournament? I have no idea. I don't think so. I doubt if I could fold it. Um, but many on the forum might say... That, well, I would imagine half the bloody forum would say they would easily fold it there, but I'm not sure I could. So there you go, there's our first finisher spread, also known as Greenfinch. Very unlucky. Here we've got a raise from Zoso, a minimum raise to 60, called by I'm Hot Am I Not and Harry R. 
Jacko Jones gets out of the way and Jaffa Cake also makes the call. Comes down 8 high with 2 hearts. So so was the original Razor and puts in a tiny bet of 60 into a pot of 255. Called by him hot am I not. Harry R. Makes a raise to 180. Letting Zoso know what a proper bet is. But Zoso calls. And down comes the King of Diamonds. I'm hot am I not also called. So now we've got a King High board. We've got a check from Zoso. I'm hot am I not checks. Harry R. Is likely to bet and he does. 570. Called by. Called by Zoso. Yep. I'm hot my knock gets out of the way. Zoso checks. Harry R. Probably check. No, he bets. Zoso sees that as a small bet. But will probably fold because he no, oh, no, he's put in a re raise and left himself with just 750 chips. So you would think he's winning. And Harry R. has a decision to make. Calls and shows King Queen of Hearts. So Zoso missed his. Well, that could have been curtains for Harry R. They both had a big flush draw, Ace High flush draw, King High flush draw, but Harry R. hit the King on the turn, and Zoso. Yeah, I guess he was slightly unlucky to not hit the Heart, and also to be outdrawn by the King of Hearts. On uh, sorry, by the King. I think it was Diamonds on the turn. So Harry R takes a big pot and Zoso is now fairly crippled but the blinds believe it or not are still only 15.30. So he has actually got um, well over 200 big blinds. I think they're 15.30 anyway. And here we've got another pot brewing. Gary Jacko Jones and Thicko are in the pot. I didn't really watch the action here, I was too busy looking at other things. Uh, the board is paired on the river and we've got a check. And Gary Jacko Jones is only likely to bet now if he's got two kings. Oh sorry, if he's got another king. Bet's a small bet, 270 into 1245. And Thicko really probably calls just to be bloody nosy. And wife call. Nope, he folds. So uh, you've got to think he was on some kind of draw. So Jacko up to 4,230, Thicko down to 3,800. Race from early position by Mazuma, who's got a, a nice healthy stack of 8,300. Zoso still struggling on 495. Called by him, hot am I not? Frogess is on 4,300, not a bad stack, above starting stack. Mazuma bets the flop of Jack 8 7. I'm hot am I not? Folds. Frog S puts in a re raise, suggesting she might have 9 10. Maybe not. Mazuma flat calls it. Frog S must continue the story now if she's going to say that she's got 9 10. Maz could be trapping, of course. Frog S. Makes the bet of 535, five, half the size of the pot, kind of suggesting that she's she wants a cut. Oh, Maz re raises. So it looks like he did make this raise with 910. And I'm sure he won't let anyone know on the forum what he had, unless they both go all in now and we'll see it. So decision time for Frogess. And she folds. So, Maz, what did you have? You must have had 9.10. You must have been trapping poor old Froggy. So, Froggy down to 3,400. So, a mid-position limp by Gary Jacko Jones. On to Jaffa Cake. He won't allow limps. And Zoso, well, Zoso's finally got his chips all in for 500 chips. 
don't know what I was talking about earlier with thinking he had over 200. Anyway, that's a bit unlucky for Jaffa Cake. He also wakes up with a hand, pair of kings. Jaffa Cake, I suppose he's fairly fortunate in the fact that Zoso didn't have many chips or they might still have gone in with a bit more, although I'm sure Jaffa Cake will say he would have folded Ace King. So Zoso, back in the game. Blinds 2040, so he's now got 25 big blinds. Jacko puts in a minimum raise from early position. I know people do these minimum raises these days, but to be honest, I prefer a little bit more if you're in early position. And the blinds are still small, like this, 2040, because you're asking for half the world to enter into the pot with you. But anyway, you've got 4,000 to piss about with. And um, we've got a check from I'm Hot and My Not. We've got four callers, Jacko, with that minimum raise. So we've got three checks. Mazuma bets a big chunk of the pot, well over half the pot. I'm hot am I not? And here we are, both fold. Jacko calls, you would think Jacko as the initial raiser then has an ace. Mazuma's still betting rather than checking, so you would think maybe he's hit the flush. And now that ace is going to scare them both, so I'm guessing it will go check, check now. Nope, we got another bet and a call. And yet we had the flush. So I'm guessing Jacko must have had a big ace there. So it's unlucky. Well, it is unlucky, but he's lost kind of 1,400 chips there because he put in a poxy 80 bet at the beginning and got four callers, one with, with eight high. Um, but that's the way people play these days I suppose they put, keep putting in these minimum rays I'd prefer to do that with a speculative hand like 7-8 that Mizuma had not with a big ace but maybe Jacko can come onto the forum and tell us what he had there I'm guessing ace-king or ace-queen so maybe there's a lesson there or maybe I'm just talking bollocks because I've seen one of the hands there you go more bollocks to come. Got a raise from Harry R. Frog S calls and Zoso makes a fold. Harry R. on the board of Queen 9 3. Continues. Froggy calls. Both got a queen. Maybe someone's got 10 jack. I wouldn't have thought that would be Froggy, but maybe Harry R. Harry R bets 180 into 570, Froggy calls. Now a club comes down, so three clubs on board, you would think that's a scare card for both of them. So it might go check, check. No value in betting now. Oh, Froggy does bet. And Harry R calls. Okay. King Queen against Queen Jack, so Harry R wins with the King Queen. Not really sure what Froggy was hoping to achieve there by betting on the river with a possible flush there, possible straight, possibly losing. I think it was probably safest just to check it behind. She's got position. You don't always have to bet when in position. You can just flat call and check. <laughs> um, and in that case I think it was probably more prudent to check behind. So Froggy down to 2400. Um, it was 4,400 and then got involved with two big hands and down to 2,400 but I really don't think she needed to lose quite as many chips. It's not a criticism, it's just an observation. I'm hot am I not, raises from the small blind into Harry R. Harry R has re-raised with position in the big blind up to 480. I'm hot am I not, started on 3000 so he's a bit below starting stack. Harry R's healthy. And wins. Um... 
Zoso only has nine started with nine sixty and he's put in a small raise and gets it through. Jaffa Gate under the gun. I'm just trying to read out a few of the chip stacks actually. Jaffa's down from four thousand to three thousand. Mazuma is very healthy on eleven thousand. Zoso's still struggling. Sonic not doing a lot on starting stack. Thicko is now right back in the game. I'm hot am I not is down and he's made a limp. Harry R's not having the limp, so raises up to one eighty. I'd be doing a bit more than one eighty if I was honest with you, but he's got position. Gary Jacko Jones is on is just above half of his starting stack. Tempted but folds, I'm hot on my knock calls. Flock comes down 799. And normally in this situation, I'm hot on my knock will check and Harry R will continuation bet for half the pot. Let's see what happens. There's the check. Harry R more than half the pot, actually. That's a really big bet. Um, I'm hot on my knock. You've got to think now he's possibly on about, he's possibly on a middle pair and he's thinks Harry R's got ace king so his middle pair is winning but he's checked on the river Harry R will probably check behind if he did have ace king no nope, he's putting a big bet oh spawny bastard spawny bastard hits the gut shot was it a gut shot might have been open ended for the straight I'm hot my knot now will be hot in the head, steaming. Probably add a middle pair and put Harry R on ace king, ace queen type hand. Hero called, but Harry had hit the miracle card on the river to give him top straight. So I'm guessing that was I'm hot am I not. Bad luck, bad fortune, but maybe he's going to tell us on the forum what he had. I'm guessing a pair of sixes and it was a hero call thinking Harry R had ace king. Meanwhile we've got a hand brewing here. Sonic Duf had raised and Frogess called on the button. She's only got 2000 so 120 out of that was quite a chunk but she's called anyway and it's got to the river and Sonic was on a draw 7-8 and Froggy had um, Queen 8 of hearts I think. Okay she picked up a flush draw on the turn. The flop 356 she had um, over paired draw and she's typed in the chat box hope no one saw that laugh out loud so <laughs> I should edit it out really <laughs> but it's in so froggy talk us through that then it was 356 rainbow and you had queen 8 of hearts we'll call that an over paired draw <laughs> Sorry, but it's in. 